Welcome back to our channel. This is a Ned Voyage presentation. The South China Sea sparkles under the sun. It seems tranquil and beautiful, but beneath the surface, tensions simmer. This sea is not just water, it is a vital pathway. It connects the world through trade, and it holds secrets beneath the waves. Countries clash over who controls this important region. Their struggle impacts us all. The South China Sea is more than just a body of water. It is a crossroads of history, commerce, and geopolitics. This makes it a fascinating and important subject. Understanding the complexities of the South China Sea is crucial. It helps us grasp the challenges and opportunities that face our world today. The South China Sea is a bustling hub of global trade, a vital artery that keeps the world's economy flowing. Ships loaded with goods crisscross its waters day and night, forming a complex web of maritime routes. These vessels carry everything from electronics to oil, connecting Asia with the rest of the world and ensuring that markets remain stocked and industries keep running. This makes the sea a vital artery in the global economy, a lifeline that supports international trade and commerce. Trillions of dollars worth of goods pass through it every year, making it one of the most economically significant waterways on the planet. But these waters are not just important for trade, they are also rich in natural resources and biodiversity. Beneath the surface, the South China Sea is teeming with marine life, home to countless species of fish and other sea creatures. This abundance makes it a vital fishing ground for many countries, providing food and employment for millions of people. Coastal communities depend on its bounty for their livelihoods, relying on the sea's resources to sustain their way of life. The seabed also holds the promise of vast oil and gas reserves, resources that are crucial for energy security and economic development. This further adds to the sea's economic significance, making it a focal point for energy exploration and extraction. Control over these resources is a source of tension, as countries vie for dominance in this strategically important region. The competition for control has led to disputes and military buildups, with nations asserting their claims through naval presence and exercises. This ongoing rivalry has heightened tensions, raising concerns about the potential for conflict in these contested waters. Analysts and policymakers around the world are closely watching the situation, as the future of this vital waterway hangs in the balance. The South China Sea has a long and complex history. For centuries, countries in the region have laid claim to parts of it. China claims a vast area based on historical maps and documents. These maps show what they call the Nine Dash Line. This line encompasses almost the entire sea. However, other countries dispute China's claims. Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan all claim parts of the sea. They cite their own historical ties and international law. These conflicting claims have created a web of overlapping interests. This makes the South China Sea a potential flashpoint for conflict. In recent years, tensions in the South China Sea have escalated. China has been increasingly assertive in its claims. It has built artificial islands on reefs and equipped them with military facilities. This has raised alarms among neighboring countries and the international community. These actions have fueled fears that China seeks to control the entire sea. This has led to increased military activity in the region. The United States, along with other countries, conducts freedom of navigation operations. These operations challenge China's claims and assert the right to free passage through international waters. The situation remains tense, with the potential for miscalculation or accident. Section 5. Living with Uncertainty, Voices from the Sea The geopolitical tensions in the South China Sea have real-life consequences for the people who live and work there. Fishermen, who rely on the sea for their livelihoods, face growing uncertainty. They are caught in the middle of the territorial disputes. Their traditional fishing grounds are becoming increasingly dangerous. They fear being caught in the crossfire or harassed by foreign vessels. The livelihoods of millions are at stake. The voices of these individuals often go unheard in the halls of power. But their stories are a poignant reminder of the human cost of the South China Sea disputes. Section 6. Navigating Troubled Waters The South China Sea presents a complex challenge for the international community. Finding a peaceful and lasting solution is crucial. Diplomacy and dialogue are essential to reduce tensions and prevent conflict. 
International law, particularly the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea or UNCLOAS, provides a framework for resolving maritime disputes. All parties must respect international law and seek peaceful resolutions based on dialogue and cooperation. The future of the South China Sea depends on finding a way for all countries to share its resources and navigate its waters peacefully. Section 7. The Dragon's Shadow. China's rise as a global power casts a long shadow over the South China Sea. Its assertive actions are seen by some as a sign of its growing ambition. They fear that China seeks to dominate the region and control its vital sea lanes. China argues that its actions are justified, it says it is simply protecting its sovereignty and territorial integrity, it points to its long historical presence in the region, however its neighbors remain wary, they see China's actions as a threat to their own security and interests. Section 8. A Chorus of Concern. The international community is increasingly concerned about the situation in the South China Sea. This region, rich in resources and strategic importance, has become a focal point of geopolitical tensions. The United States, although it does not have any territorial claims in the sea, has a strong interest in maintaining peace and stability in the region. The U.S. sees the South China Sea as a critical maritime route, essential for global trade and security. It regularly conducts freedom of navigation operations to challenge China's expansive claims. These operations are intended to assert the principle that the sea should remain open and accessible to all nations. Other countries, including Japan, Australia, and European nations, have also expressed their concerns. They are worried about the potential for conflict and the impact on international trade routes. They emphasize the importance of respecting international law and resolving disputes peacefully. The United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea is often cited as the legal framework for these discussions. They call for all parties to exercise restraint and avoid actions that could escalate tensions. Diplomatic efforts are ongoing, with various international forums and bilateral talks aiming to find a peaceful solution. The chorus of concern is growing louder, urging a peaceful resolution to the South China Sea disputes. The hope is that through dialogue and cooperation, a stable and lasting peace can be achieved in this vital region. Section 9. The Fisherman's Tale. Dao, a weather-beaten fisherman from Vietnam, has spent his entire life navigating the vast and often unpredictable waters of the South China Sea. From the break of dawn to the setting sun, he has cast his nets and hoped for a bountiful catch. He remembers a time when the sea was a source of peace and bounty. The waters were calm and the fish were plentiful. It was a simpler time, a time when the sea provided for his family and community without fail. But now, he says, the sea feels different. The once familiar waters have become a place of tension and unpredictability. The weather patterns have changed and the fish are no longer as abundant as they once were. It is a place of uncertainty and fear. The waves seem more menacing and the skies often darken with ominous clouds reflecting the turmoil beneath the surface. We used to fish wherever we wanted, he says, his voice heavy with sadness. The freedom to roam the sea and find the best fishing spots is now a distant memory. Now, we are afraid to go out too far. The fear of what lies beyond the horizon keeps us close to the shore, limiting our catch and our livelihood. We are afraid of the Chinese boats. These vessels patrol the waters aggressively, asserting their presence and dominance. They harass us and sometimes even destroy our fishing nets. The damage to our equipment is not just a financial burden, but a direct threat to our survival. Dao's story is not unique. It is echoed by countless other fishermen who face the same challenges and fears. It is a story shared by many fishermen across the region. They band together, sharing their experiences and supporting one another in these trying times. They are caught in the crossfire of a geopolitical struggle that threatens their way of life. The tension between nations has turned their once peaceful profession into a dangerous endeavor, leaving them to navigate not just the waters, but the complex and often perilous political landscape. Section 10, An Expert's Perspective. Dr. Nguyen Thilan, a leading expert on maritime security in Southeast Asia, believes that the situation in the South China Sea is complex and multifaceted. She says that historical grievances, nationalist sentiments, and economic interests all play a role in the disputes. It is not just about territory or resources, she explains. It is also about national pride and the desire for regional influence. 
Dr. Lan emphasizes the need for a peaceful resolution based on dialogue, cooperation, and respect for international law. She believes that all parties must be willing to compromise and find common ground to ensure a stable and prosperous future for the region. Section 11, Charting a Peaceful Course. The South China Sea stands at a crossroads. The path ahead is uncertain, fraught with challenges and potential pitfalls. But amidst the tensions there is hope. The desire for peace and stability remains strong. By embracing dialogue, upholding international law, and fostering cooperation, the nations of the region can chart a course towards a brighter future. A future where the South China Sea is a sea of peace, shared prosperity, and sustainable development. The journey may be long and arduous, but the destination is worth striving for. The fate of the South China Sea rests in the hands of those who share its waters. Watch out for the next video, and remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Ned Voyage for more intriguing travel content. Bye for now.